Hey everyone, Cali Gold here again. Summoned uh, Raven from my Discord. Uh, let me know that Nick Merck's uh, stream today and spent an inordinate amount of time talking about the Dr. Disrespect situation in addition to his own feelings and stuff that he's been embroiled in recently uh, regarding his comments on the LGBT community and thing with kids and all this kind of stuff and uh, Nick Merckx who I don't really watch very much because he doesn't play the kind of games I do but he was streaming on kick he's got about 20 25 30 minute segment here where he went into a whole thing with Doc and the whole thing with the gay community and his feelings on that. And um, I'm just going to go ahead. I recorded it. I recorded it. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the whole thing so that you can get the context. You want to hear what Nick Merckx has to say. As you probably know, he's, uh, I would say, a friend of Doc's. And they know each other very well. They play video games together and stuff like that. So Nick is obviously very disappointed. So there's two huge th things in his talk today. His disappointment in Doc totally condemns what he does. And also his feelings on not not hate for gay people, but he just wants to protect children is the point he's trying to make. And you know how things are when you try to make a point and then it gets taken out of context. And the next thing you know, uh, everyone thinks that he hates gay people or something like that. And that's that's not true. But all you, he'll explain it himself here today as well. And there's also a little bit of a twist here because I heard rumors that the reason the ex- Twitch employee actually exposed the stuff on Doc was because of what Nick Merck said in, or, uh, regarding the uh, gay community. I don't believe that myself. I don't believe that myself unless you show me real proof because this guy, this guy who is the ex employee from Twitch, has it's been burning a hole in his pocket. He's been wanting to talk about this for at least a year now and more. We have proof, which I will show you on a future video, uh, that he's be, can't, he couldn't wait to talk about this. Uh, uh, there's, I think there's some stuff about him saying, if we can fill this concert hall, I'll expose the truth. And that was the thing about Doc. So there's a lot more to this. I don't think Nick is really as involved as he thinks he is or other people think he is. But anyway, this guy is very popular, and this is what he had to say about it. I'm just going to go ahead and show the whole thing from today if you missed it or if he deleted the VOD, because I've got it recorded now. So here's Nick Merckx streaming on kick, like I said, 25 to 30 minutes of him talking about it and re interacting with his chat as well. His chat is kind of driving the conversation. Okay, here it is. Thanks, guys. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How you guys doing? Uh, what an eventful w week on fucking... On, uh, I mean, just in general. What a time, man. Huh? What a fucking timeline. And then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get into it. But, uh, I was laughing earlier because I'm like, fuck. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the, uh, the fucking debate. <laughs> and I was laughing because I'm like, bro. Loki, Loki, I feel, Loki, I feel bad for the M fam, man. Like, bro, we're, we're, we're really gonna be putting y'all through it this year, man. We're gonna be putting y'all through it, bro. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a, uh, this is gonna be a lot this year, man. But it is what it is. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a week. It's gonna be a week, and and uh, it's gonna be a year. You know, and it might get a little crazier before it gets better. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking nuts, man. Um, yeah. I mean, look. I don't want to. I don't want to be all smiley up here in front of y'all too much, man. Off the rip. I mean, look. I, what do you want me to say, man? What? What? What does anybody want from me? I don't get it. What do you want me to do? You want me to beat the shit out of myself, like I'm Jim Carrey and liar, liar, or something? And I'm just fucking smacking my head against the toilet. I don't know what you want. You know, I didn't fucking do it. What? <laughs> I, you? You take a look at Twitter. You think I did this shit? Fuck, take me away, man. Handcuffs. People are telling me I'm a pedophile. The mods overtime fund. Yeah. Of course they're going to need it. Yeah. A mods. Fucking good. Good luck, brothers and sisters. You're you going you, you gonna to need Jesus today, man. Good luck. Twitter was on your ass? Yeah, bro. They're always on dick, man. They're always on dick. 
you know? And, I mean, granted, I might deserve a little bit of it because I understand that there's this proverbial scoreboard going on, right? Where like, oh my God, his boy, you know? Score one for us. It's like, okay, yeah, okay, I get it. It's weird, man. Like, I, I almost, like, after looking at it all, I can't really put my finger on it, you know? I can't, I'm not like 100%, but I feel like, like, my feeling. Nick, I stand W. I can't tell if people you are one more of the big boys upset. Who didn't back the internet's Let me mindset. Make my point, Noah. The internet goes guilty until proven. Let me make my point real quick. Um, I can't tell if people are more upset with me because of my comments against transgender people and shit, right? Or if people are more upset, like about the doc thing. I, I, I can't really tell. Like I'm, I'm looking at it all, and I'm like, wow, man, this is what a crazy timeline. Isn't it weird? It's kind of fucking weird. I feel like they almost don't even care about what's going on with, with the situation and they're just kind of like using it as like ammo or something. Like, okay, cool, man. You know, like what? Like, imagine not giving a shit about what actually happened and like trying to use it for like some little fucking point to make. Like, okay, bro. Got it. Got it. Cool. Great. Great. Yeah. I mean, look. And then the, the, the truth in this all is that, bro, like... People want me to just fucking destroy the guy up and down. I mean, he was a friend. He he was a friend. I I I don't I don't know what people want from me. The guy was a friend. Okay, he wasn't my best friend. People were going around like, oh, he's your best buddy. You guys gamed every day. No, the fuck we didn't. You know. I mean, look, I will admit that he was my friend, and I had a lot of respect for the guy. You know, I didn't think he was the best guy in the world, right? He guy dude cheated on his wife. I mean. He said he was sorry. People can make mistakes, you know, but there's certain things that you do, uh, and there's certain there's there's certain things that you don't do. And I mean, look, he he, fucking guy does a lot of crazy ass shit, man. I mean, this is crazy. Okay, so what do you want from me? What do you want out of me, man? I mean, I said what he did is absolutely unacceptable. Anybody with a brain knows that it's ridiculous. Obviously, obviously, and I say obviously, man, in caps lock, that we don't support shit like that. Why would we ever? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. It's ridiculous. It caught everybody off guard, okay? I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard all the way around, especially when you get hit with something like that. And prior to him putting out his statement, we didn't know what was what. We had a bunch of fucking dweebs on Twitter just just spewing shit. But until we know what's good, I mean, we can't just say the guy's guilty or something like that. It's fucking ridiculous, man. You're not guilty until proven innocence backwards. And that's happened a few times. And it's been crazy. You don't want to do that. You want to wait for evidence. You want to wait for people to speak up or speak out. And then you're like, okay, and then and now and now 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 we can properly assess things. And that and that's what I did. So that's where we're at. And the situation's fucking shit across the board. It's just a shitty situation. Bro, you responded in the best way possible. They wanted to drag you over coals because you wanted to wait for evidence. Screw them. I think that they, I think that there's a lot of people that are upset about my trans comments, but I stand by every one of those comments, man. I, I, I through and through, it is not a healthy thing. You can pretend that it is all you want. You could pretend that these things are certain ways that they are not. I stand by all that. I mean, I, I don't want to keep going over it, you know, but I think that that's where a lot of the anger comes in, you know, and then all, all the while, Doc, a guy that I play games with is, is, you know, doing stupid shit like that. You know what I mean? So I get it. I understand the entirety of the situation, but it doesn't change my views on transgender shit at all. So I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but you're not going to find it. Definitely weird timing. Yeah, Jay-Z, definitely weird timing. Absolutely. But what can you do? You know what I mean? We still don't know if he knew she was underage. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. He admitted that in his tweet. Yeah, people are still trying to defend what he did. Um, I mean, even he tried to defend what he did in a really odd way in that tweet. Like he said that he knew that she was underage and he would still text her. And the text, I, I, I can't remember how, how he put it in his tweet, but what did what, what it say? That the texts were, would sometimes go a certain way? Yeah, he edited the tweet three times. Just, just so bad. It's so bad, you guys. It's so bad. You know, and, and look, uh, what do you want from me, man, you know? I gave the guy the benefit of the doubt until, until we knew more. 
But look, it's unacceptable when when you have just in in any in any world that is unacceptable. You just got to you just got to be you got to be smarter. You got to be better. You can't do shit like that. It's 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 not only is it against the law, but where the fuck is your your head and your heart at to do things like that? You know, what are we doing? Why are we doing stuff like that? So to act like I don't care or act like I'm not upset about the the shit he did is crazy. You just have to remember that he that he was a friend of mine. So obviously I'm going to behave a little bit differently. I got some weird fucking you know attachments to to uh, this. You know I do. He's he he was a friend. People think that we're like best friends. Like we're hanging out. I don't even know the guy outside of a wig. We took one picture together and newsflash, he was in a wig. And we talked for eight minutes. Now I don't want to dumb down a relationship and act like we weren't friends because we were. Because people are looking for that to come out of me. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a buck fifty. Let's not play the game where we're going to act like I was playing with the guy every fucking day, all day. He's my best fucking pal. We're, you know, we're smoking fucking a cigar together playing golf i wouldn't do that shit he lives in california i'm in south florida i never leave my home i'm a streamer i mean and then when i do i go down south to gamble with my i'm with my family so just calm down with that shit we're not best fucking buds but yes he was a friend and i and i had and i have respect for him man but that's all changed now okay just got to keep it real man we got to keep it real like look I can take criticism of, 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 of like some shit you guys are saying, man, but people calling me a pedophile and like a pedophile defender. I mean, look, that's just the internet being the internet. People don't like some of the shit you say, so they'll try to spin it and twist it and flip it and do whatever they can to make it fit the image they have of you in their head, you know, but it doesn't mean that it's true, okay? It doesn't mean that it's true. There's zero anything ever and there will never be of me being those things, man. That's ridiculous. I'm a family guy. I, I, put, I put my whole life in front of everything, man. I'm not playing this game with nobody, man. It's crazy shit right there. So, yeah. But look, I mean, crazy couple days, man. And I, I feel bad for you guys. I feel bad for just the gaming scene because he was an incredible entertainer. And we kind of got tricked a little bit, you know, a lot of it. I don't, you know. It's just shitty all the way around, right? So, this guy calls out LGBT child predators for existing. See, it, like, that's just a crazy sentence. Why would I ever call someone a child predator for existing? Like, you people are just so brain... You, you, you're, you have rotting brains. You just, you're just not able to critically think about things. You know what I mean? You're just not. You can't. You can't put, you can't put something here and put something there and then have thoughts about them both. You can't do it. That is not true. I never said everybody in the LGB, whatever the fuck, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, is child predators. I never even insinuated that. That's never what I said. I did say and still believe that we should leave anything sexual away from children. So pride stuff, trans stuff should not be in, 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 in schools, man, for little ass kids. They don't need to be involved with that. What is the issue? What's the fucking problem with that? And how do you take that sentence and what I said about that and say that, and then say that I'm saying that every single LGB, whatever the fuck, is a predator? I never said that. I, I, I would never say that because it's absolutely not true. You know how many gay people think that I fucking hate them and shit? I never, I never said anything about gay people, ever. Other than the fact that I don't think pride stuff should be being pushed in schools where children are involved. And look, look, guys, we can disagree. Like, if you think that, if you think that it should, then okay. All right. We'll go, I, I agree to disagree. Agree to this. Hard agree to disagree. I mean, I, I, I don't see it. I don't see the vision. Children are beyond impressionable. Um, they want attention. It, it, you we don't need to be doing that. They need to be focused on the task at hand. And by the way, the premise of how this all started a year and some change ago was that brawl out front between trans and LGB whatever activists and parents of the school. The school was an elementary school. So what is that, K, K, K through 5? K through 5th grade? My brothers and sisters... That doesn't need to be taught there. 
That does not need to be taught or pushed there. It doesn't need to happen. It, and, and it should not be happening. And if you think so, that's look, that's okay. We agree to disagree. Now, putting that over the side, if you're gay, I got no quarrel with you. I got, I got, I got nothing wrong with you, all right? If you're old enough and you want to be trans, you want to go do all that shit, I don't got no quarrel with you, but I believe that it's unhealthy. And I think that you need to really think things through. I think that we, as a, as, as a people, need to come up with a, with a stronger, smarter alternative to doing some of the things these people are doing. And if you hate me for that, then so fucking be it. So be it. Go ahead. Take it and run with it. Fly away with it. But that's what I believe. And, and I'm, and I'm going to preach it. I got, Chad, I have a kid now. I'm in this game. People are like, oh, what the fuck changed? Yeah, <laughs> hey, look, man, you, you, you go through life. You get married. You have children. This is the natural evolution of things. Things change. You know, you, you start thinking, well, you know, what fucking school your kid's going to go to? What's going on at these schools? What, what's, what's, what's being pushed? What isn't? Of course things change. Absolutely. Like when I was 26 and it was just me and my girl, like, I don't give a fuck, whatever. <laughs> so maybe that's where a lot of you guys are at. All right, cool. Come back to me when you have children and let's see how you're feeling. Let's see if it's the same. I'm not saying it's not going to be, but you, but, but you never know. My prediction is there's a lot of young people with a lot of words for me, but as time goes on and the clock ticks, they're going to open their eyes, man, because you're going to have kids. You're going to have a family. Maybe you won't, but a lot of you are. Things are going to change. You just going to be a little bit different. That's all I'm fucking saying, man. And look, I don't want to be up here talking about this trans shit and gay shit. I don't, man. Like my, my fucking buddy put out a tweet the other day that he's a pedophile. Okay. I don't want to make that. I'm not trying to turn this conversation into what we just talked about. I don't want to do that, but you guys are making me do it. Cause you're throwing it in my face 24 seven. I don't want to do that. I want to stay on point and on and on point is look, that's unacceptable. Okay. I feel a little weird about it. I've never been through this. So, so excuse me for not being a professional at going through this. Okay. I don't know if you guys have, but I've never been through this. This is really fucking weird, man. I mean, really, I'm talking to my dad. I'm like, dad, Jesus Christ, man. He's like, I don't fucking know, man. This is, this is unreal. I'm talking to Tim and Denny. We're like, what the fuck? So what, so what, so, you know, if anybody's uncomfortable with the way that I'm handling the situation, all right, I, check, gotcha. Check, man. But I'm uncomfortable too. Welcome to the uncomfortable team. We've been here for a week now. You gr- grab a drink and a fucking bag of chips, you know? What do you want me to do? I mean, I'm working through it like you are. God damn it. Anyway. I'm good. I don't want anybody to worry about me, but I'm so good. I got a great team around me. I got a great family. Great, great people, man, you know? And, and um, I'm not, I'm not, this shit ain't getting to me like you might think. I'm just, I'm just barking back at the, at the barking coming to me, man. That's it, you know? Just got to lay it out there for you guys to think about it clearly because this is a lot of this shit's crazy crazy i mean people were dissecting my video like it was a fu- like like i had committed a fucking crime or some shit I'm like, what the fuck is going on anyway who gifted 50 is that big lenny lenny you in here bro thank you for the gifted man you gift 100 subs bro Hey, Jeff, we got a legend in the industry, NFL player right there, man. That's a big dog right there. Super Bowl champion, give the 100 subs. Hey, Bay Lenny, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. It means a lot. That's cool. But I meant what I said, Chad. If you got some shit to say, get it off your chest, man. And I don't, th- and I don't think that I'm, and I don't think that I'm, uh, how do I say this, man? I don't. I don't think that it's un, undeserving. I deserve a little bit of shit. I'm not saying. I'm not saying I don't deserve it. But go ahead, man. I think you could clarify that you knew nothing about the band for the last four years. Okay. I then please allow me to clarify. I didn't know a thing about the band for four years. People are gonna take what I say and they're like, "Oh, yes, he did. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. I didn't know shit about nothing. Okay." 
There was rumors going around, people yapping, talking shit. I didn't even hear about this type of thing. I heard about some other shit. That's, I mean, I, and it's not, it's nothing like this. So I didn't know about it. Tim, Tim didn't know about it. We didn't know. We didn't know about it. You can, you can take it and you can believe me or you cannot either way. But my, my official, my official statement on that is that I, I didn't fucking, I didn't know a thing, man. So, I appreciate what you said that you're peace and that you are not demanding that others agree. That mindset is screwed up with a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's this, you know, there's this interpretation. Not interpretation. But it's just like just this thought process that we all have to agree on everything. And we don't. And we can have disagreements. And we, you know. And look, people, people say that, you know, I took it too far by saying that a certain group of people doesn't exist. But like, in my mind, obviously I didn't mean that like they're like, uh like they're floating around, like they're not here. But I meant like that. I don't believe in that in any way. And I don't believe that we should be doing that. And that's very unhealthy. Anybody with a brain would, would understand that that's what I was getting at, you know, but, and look, that, that, that might really make some people mad. I, I get that it might make some people mad. I get that, you know, I understand, but let me reiterate, man. And I don't want to beat it. I hate to say beat a dead horse. It's so weird, but I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, and I don't want to keep going over it, but this stream, my community and my content has always been, there's been this like push health. Like we want to preach health, you know, like let's, like let's game, let's game competitively. Let's have some fun. Let's get after it, but let's be healthy. Okay. I don't think it's healthy. That's it. You know? So a lot of this kind of comes from that. A lot of it. Where you, again, again, everything I'm saying, you can agree, you can disagree. It's fine. All right, you can think I'm fucked all, 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 all you want. <sighs> Nick, would you agree you don't have to physically touch a child to be a predator? Dito, come on, man. If you're going out of your way to hit up somebody underage like that and you know they're underage, that's a problem. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You know, like I don't want to. Let's keep let's keep the questions real at least, man. You know what I mean? Like fuck. Would your energy towards this be the same if it was a trans person instead of Doc? Yeah, I mean, I know, I, you know, like when I see videos of trans people doing things I don't agree with online, you know, it's it's like, you know, it pisses me off. And I see one, I see two, and I see ten, and I see twenty, and it just it just compiles, right? And you, you just, you, know, you you definitely get a little angry about it, especially especially being a dad. Um, but I think the energy was a lot different, not only because of the amount of times I've seen videos of stuff like that versus just this one thing with Doc, but also, I mean, I, I think you guys have to remember, thank you for the 25 good stuff, I think, you, I think you have to remember that Doc was a friend, okay, so I have to digest that too, I I, 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 I kind of have to go through that my own way, you know what I mean, it's, it's, and I keep trying to like allude and, and to the fact and tell you guys like, just without screaming at you, like, it's fucking hard, but like, it's, it's not easy. You know, I keep trying to tell you that, and I don't know how to do it without just yelling at you. Like, it's not easy to fucking, it's not easy to go through, you know, as a friend. Was or are you staying his friend? Oh, no, I'm not staying his friend. No, I'm going to, look, you know, your friends can make mistakes, and you can forgive and stuff, and you don't need to live with all that hate in your heart, I guess, per se, but like I said, this kind of thing for me is inexcusable. I I don't want to influence you guys to do you you think the way you want but for me it's inexcusable it's not it's not ever going to be defendable i don't i won't ever understand how he can know that the girl is underage and he's still um he's still hitting her up i'm just not going to be able to wrap my head around that ever in the history of ever for the rest of time as far as time goes as far as time goes on if some of you can that's your shit did he know? Einstein, it's funny that your name is Einstein. Yes, brother, he knew. He said in his tweet that he knew. Did he know is the, is the big question. Guys, he knew. That's the point here. He said that he knew. Come on, guys. Ah. <sighs> 
time to scoot forward? I'd like to, but I'd also like to give everybody a chance to get some stuff off their chest, man, if they want, you know? So, do you think he's done forever now? I don't have a prediction about what he's going to do or what he isn't going to do. Nor, nor do I really care, man. I, I, you know, it's kind of just a turn the page thing, right? Uh, you're not getting mad at them for being trans. You're upset that it's actively being pushed more and more. Well, don't put that in my mouth, right? Like, like I, I'm not upset with them that they're trans, but I am upset that, you know, that's the decision that that human is, is deciding. And I think that we need to do a smarter, better job at creating, you know, a, a, a smarter, healthier way to help them. Okay. But why do you care though? Because I do. I think it's important. I care about health. You know, I care about health. I care about well-being. I, I care about the precedent that something like that uh, will uh, set going forward. I mean, I think you guys should care about things like that too. It, it, it's important. It matters. No? It's a weird precedent to set to say that like, you know, if you're, you know, if you're outside your mind a little bit, you're not feeling good about things, you just, you know, you you go do this, this, and that. I mean, no. Nah. No defense for his actions. Here's the but. But we live in a society where sex is promoted in almost every aspect of culture. There are plenty of dudes who sit waiting for that next 18-year-old to start her OnlyFans. Anything you think should change to get away from that? To get away from that? Anything you think should change to get away from that? Anything I think that should change to get away from that? Oh. Um, I, I don't even know what you're in. Is he insinuating something, chat? Is there like a ban only fans to start? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Outlaw porn? Oh, but is this like a ban porn thing? Oh, okay. That's probably what he means. Uh, man, it's a strange analogy, but like, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I, I I do think it's weird that people wait till some. Oh, that's definitely strange. For real though, band porn. I mean, I don't want to get in the whole band porn thing. I, I don't even fucking care or know. But yeah, yeah, a lot of brain rot, man. I mean, I like scrolling through Twitter. You just you just see these. I and they're not even these accounts. Like a lot of times, there's no profile picture. Just it's kind of just like. Like, they just post shit the whole time, you know? Just brain rot posts, man. Everywhere. It was unreal. It was unreal, man. I'm telling you, I think there's a, like, a the majority, uh, maybe not majority, but there was a lot of people that were almost, like, happy about it. I, I don't want to say that, like, the majority was, but but there was a lot of people that were really happy about this. Isn't that kind of weird to be happy about something like this? It's kind of weird, man. I'm just saying. They're like, it, like they're like, it, it's like a football team or something. Like, like your team scored a touchdown or something. I'm, I'm serious. It, it felt like they, like they scored a touchdown. <laughs> so that like, like somebody, like somebody hit a big three point shot, and I, it's like what? I don't know, man. People think it's ironic, and it is. Yeah, me, me saying the shit that I said about trans people and then Doc Doc doing what he did definitely is a little ironic, but it doesn't mean that it's not that, that both aren't true. It doesn't mean doesn't mean the shit that I said is not true at all. So anyway, um look weird couple days, right? But what the fuck can you do, man? I mean, I don't know what else to do. So I'm going to continue on, keep on pushing, and uh, we'll just go from there, you know? And I understand people going to feel some type of way. If anything, like, look, I I, I totally get it, right? Um, I wish you all the best. <laughs> I really fucking do, man. I really wish you the best, but it is what it is. And I, and yeah, no, no, Jay, I don't, no, I'm not continuing my relationship with that. Guys, relax, man. Why did Twitch hide it? I mean, I don't know if they hid it 
We definitely didn't hear about it for a while, though, huh? I don't know. I think it was. I, I think it was a tough spot for everybody involved. But I don't know. I don't know enough about the law and how that gets handled to speak intelligently about that. So, yeah, I, I definitely read a, uh, that there were some NDAs and shit. But I, don't, I mean, I don't know enough. I mean, isn't isn't what he did breaking the law? I mean, I I, I don't know. It's just strange. It's definitely strange. Emu, emu kick, hold on, wait, emu kicking your ass and kicking your ass out the house, can't believe his wife is still cool. Yeah, that is, that is weird. I can't even lie, that's fucking weird. The whole thing's weird. No matter how you cut it, it's just fucking strange. Life is complicated. Yeah, this one threw a, this this is, this is a weird curveball, man. This, this is some like what? You think there's a world where you're jumping to conclusions? Um, had he not put out his tweet, yes. But after he put out his tweet admitting to doing these things, no. Does that make sense? Like as soon as he put out his tweet where he admitted to doing these things, everything changes. For me, though. Well, how about you guys? How, what, did you like? We was that? Is that how you felt? Because for a while there, like you know, it was weird, right? Like the guy put out that fucking tweet, but then he was trying to push concert tickets, and I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Right? It was weird. And you know that there's been this dispute with Doc and Twitch for a long time, so you're like, "Fuck," you know. And I, he, he you know, he's cool with me, so I'm, I'm. I'm trying to just keep it cordial. You know, I don't I don't know what to believe, right? I'm just saying, hey, listen, until we know more, I'm not going to jump on the fucking hate train, right? Let's get some real evidence, some real concrete stuff. And I mean, look, we didn't get that, I guess, but we got him admitting it. So what's the difference? That's the same thing. So that, I mean, done. I don't think there's anything more to talk about at that point. You know what I mean? I feel like there's so much more to unfold. Yeah, that's what's kind of weird. Like if he, so he put out that tweet and he admitted to doing it. I almost feel like there's going to be some stuff that comes out or something. Like some additional, like, because, right, like why would he, why the fuck would he do that if, if, yeah, I don't know. Probably, you know, I mean, at this point, people almost deserve to know with how much it's been kind of like dangled in our face, you know? I mean, at this point, you might as well just fucking put out the shit. I don't know. <sighs> Einstein, you don't read the tweet the same way? Well, <sighs> Einstein says he doesn't read the tweet the same way. Like, what the fuck are we on about? Okay. Um, hello, I'm in Lucas Fabian. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no food with me. Where does he say it? Foremost, I want, to, I want to apologize. A lot of people left in the dark with happy and shit. Mm -mm. Our team is in the town. Mm -mm. Everyone's been waiting for a uh, band from Twitch chat. It's right here. I was not allowed to say anything. No, no, no. Can I tell you my Here we go. Were the Twitch whispers with an individual hunter back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. I mean, nothing illegal happened, no pictures, no crimes. I never even met the individual I went through. I mean, guys, here you go. Boom. Okay. The answer is yes. No real intentions. 
but sometimes they leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate. You know, I guess the question you have to ask yourself if you're really trying to chop this up is, I mean, like, why would you ever be hitting up a 17-year-old and how how would there be inappropriate text messages? You know, man, I mean, look, if, if I mean, if you're cool with that, then you're, you're cool with that, but I'm not. I think it's weird. Not to mention he has a he has a wife and kids or a kid. I mean, fuck. You know how many ugh. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But that's where I'm at. 